Celtics have a. What do you think? You got it. Finals prediction. We're here. Uh, I'm going to start with Nick. Who is going to win and in All how right. many games? Let me preface this with I don't want it to happen before the chat room flips the hell out. But I say Warriors and six at, at the Garden. It'll be the second wow, team ever is- to win. Second team ever to win at the Garden. That's morbid, and- dude. What? That's morbid. I just I my at the end of the day, I can't put you we cannot put mm-hmm. any predictions to this team because they're so unpredictable. And they, I mean, the playoffs is the, the, the definition of it. They, you know, they, they didn't lose two games in a row, but they also didn't put, I don't know if they put two good games together in a row since the, the Brooklyn series and Golden State, no matter what, it's like the old school teams, you know, the, like the Celtics and the Pistons, you, you knew the Celtics were going to win until they didn't win anymore. And Boston's not at that point yet. This is their first time. Uh, in the finals, and I think they have plenty of times ahead of them. But this series today, too many. If I heard John one more time or Jimmy this year say the bad version of them or the bad habits creep back up, it can't happen in this series. Not once they're going to make you pay. They've been here, they've done it, and they're not intimidated by the Celtics. And the Celtics are in awe of them. You could see it. You heard it in, in Tatum's media veil today. You know, he's been, he was in, what, eighth grade when Steph won his first title? I mean, there's a little bit there. And then I also get very, very concerned about all the media hype. This team is notorious for buying into their own hype. And I'm afraid of that, too. That worries me a little. Just a little. A week worth. Just a little. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't want to be the downer. I don't want to be the downer. Teeny, teeny bit. Downer? I don't want to be the downer, but I, I'm, I'm going to shoot you straight if you're going to ask me. And I, I don't want it to happen. But I think that that Boston is going to complain one too many times to the ref, take one too many threes that weren't good threes, yep. and uh, make some, some fatal errors where yeah. Golden Fair State enough. will capitalize. Um, let's go with uh, Jimmy. I hope I'm wrong. So I've been thinking about this for a long time, not just when the Celtics won uh, to advance. I, I was kind of envisioning this. NBA Finals matchup for a bit now. And I've gone back and forth on it. I took the Celtics against the Nets. They won handily. I took the Celtics against the Bucks in seven. They won in seven. I took the Celtics against the Heat in six because John bullied me out of seven, but I really wanted to take them in seven. And every time I said, I love what the Celtics, I love how the Celtics are playing. I love their fight. I love their compete level. I love that they're playing as a team. They're a completely different team than the one that started the season than they are now. And I said, I'm going to ride it with the Celtics until they prove me wrong, and I'm going to go down with the ship if I have to. Well, boys, we're still sailing. And I'm ready to go. Celtics in seven. I got the Celtics in seven. I like what I see. I think the defense is going to step up. I know I think offense beats defense, but I don't know if the Warriors are that offense anymore. The Celtics are that defense. And the Celtics, when they play solid defense or strong defense, and their offense isn't quite there, eventually it comes around, and that's usually enough for them to claw back in it and for them to take take a W. Now, the one thing I'll say is this. You can't go on, like, first quarter or first half lulls. You can't go down 20 plus points to the Warriors and expect to come back. You got to keep it close. You got to play 48 minutes. You got to go to work. You got to show up on time and you got to stay late. You got to bring your hard hats. You got to bring your lunch pails and you got to tie those steel toe boots and you got to play for seven games. I think that's what's going to take. So I got Celtics in seven. I don't think home court really matters. I think they can go to, I think they can go to San Francisco. Sorry, San Francisco. You don't really scare me. I think they can go to San Francisco and win a game there if they need to. So I'm got I'm taking Celtics in seven, and we're we're just gonna keep it going. See what happens tomorrow. Tomorrow I may be feeling really good or really bad about the prediction, but I'm going. Bobby, to- I like it, Jimmy. We should have ended with you, but mm-hmm. Bobby. Yeah, I'm following. I'm following that. that <laughs> this, will change, this will change ten times. Look at Jimmy. <laughs> oh. I changed once in the Bucks mm-hmm. series after mm-hmm. one of the most. <laughs> dis- it's on tape, Bobby. Yes, 
They allow you appear, your back. head appears on the screen and you make this. This comment is great. They allow <laughs> free throw. <laughs> it's really ridiculous that this is still a criticism. They allowed a free throw offensive rebound, blown a 14 point fourth quarter lead at home, going to Milwaukee against the defending champs. And everyone's <laughs> stunned that I changed my mind. Man, when in going that into that, series. the pendulum swings. Three. Three times it, that series. It happened once. After and once five. the series before. Mm -hmm. All mm -hmm. right, let him get his prediction in, fellas. Come on. I think I've been uh, right this these playoffs more than anyone. Because <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 you guess both sides all series, every series. How could you be wrong? Yeah, how could you be wrong, man? <laughs> you pick both, you've picked both. You've picked both teams every series. You, you can't smoke I'm here. I remember what I smoking in my apartment. Put that out. My nets, my nets take was weeks in the making before that. I had Celtics in seven against the Bucks, and then I think it was Celtics in five against the Heat. That ended up being harder than I thought it would be. But here, there's two things I like. I don't think the Warriors have faced any team nearly as tough as the Celtics on their run. Co-sign this comment. Chat deserves a ring. Go ahead, Bobby. I think the Celtics have seen the toughest team that they've played so far, which was the Bucs. Because yeah. you had an absolute menace in Giannis that you had to account for. I don't think that there's any the singular rest. I don't think there's any singular matchup issue that you have on the Golden State side that's as overwhelming, even considering Curry's greatness. I take Giannis over Curry right now. So that's going in your favor. You have the defense, which I think is a raw game in and game out that you can lean on. You have size, you have scoring to chase the Golden State Warriors if needed, and you have a great transition game that can set a tone if you're piling up stops. I think the physicality of this series is going to catch up to the Warriors fast. Wow. I think the amount that the Celtics are going to send big wings at their smaller guards on defense is going to hurt them the way it did Kyrie, the way it did Durant. Um, they can spread it out more offensively, so it's going to go right down to the wire. They're going to have a comeback win that I'm sure is just going to look devastating much like some bad losses that they had over the last two rounds here. But the Celtics have bounced back from everything. I mean, 7-0 and after losses is insane. Jimmy mentioned the road success of this team. Seven wins before the finals is the most ever by a team, or tied for most ever so by a team. But, ever by teams. Go ahead. I mean, that's road success. It's almost No, it's a valuable stat. A it's a valuable stat. And they won a road game seven. They won a home game seven. They've done it all. They've seen everything. This isn't going to be any different. This isn't the old Warriors. Again, I'm not saying it's going to be easy and there's going to be some shocking moments in this series that it really challenged them and all the frustrating tendencies that we talk about with the Celtics are going to carry over. But I think back to 08, Nick, they got brought to seven a couple of times. It wasn't easy. Mm -hmm. They hit mm -hmm. a wall a few times. They had a huge mm -hmm. deficit against the Lakers that they had to overcome. Mm -hmm. When we talk about... When we talk but that about that team's all... mental toughness was never in question. I think what was well, in question, what was in this question? is the longest non prediction in the history team? of no, mankind. Lost. Yeah, what is the prediction? First of all, I like to, I want to say, I, I, I feel better about my prediction after Bobby going because he kind of said everything I was feeling without actually saying it. But Bobby, finish up. What did Bobby predict in this? What do you think? Give Celtics. us the pick, dude. Yeah, yeah. Celtic. In seven, they're gonna win Ooh. right here in San Francisco. Let's go. I, hope you're right. John, I hope you're right. So and John's uh, gonna be there. Yeah, John's so let me be there. Maybe. So <laughs> let me tell you this, guys. What, J there, Jimmy, what would John's be the in Jimmy. wrestling terms? What's the opposite of a heel turn? Like when a villain turns good. Are you going there? I'm just asking. Is there a term for it? I don't know. Because right now, I wish I had it. I oh. would just. Pull my hard hat out of nowhere, oh, plop no. it on my head, <laughs> and go full Toscano right now. Oh but, my god! Look, I you said at the Celtics. Pick Celtics, though, you want. I to. said no, no, no. That's what I mean. It's the opposite of a heel turn. I'm the this good guy. This is a championship now. team. Can't you feel it? Come no. on, John. Literally, none of you guys understand what I'm saying right now. I'm saying I was the bad guy, and what's the opposite of going from bad you guy to good, good guy. guy? You're the good guy. M. Night You're the hero. You're the here. So what I'm trying to say is wow. I'm picking the You're Celtics. Whoa! But nobody's listening. Um, and here's Whoa. why. I think Golden State, I think Golden State is overrated. 
Um, I I think they're good, but I don't think they're great. I think they're beatable. I think the Celtics are going to bully them. I think the Celtics are going to assert their will. I think uh, Boston's going to go in there and win game one and shock them. Um, They are. And I think they're going to go in and they're going to take game one and everyone's going to be like, whoa. And Golden State's going to have to recalibrate a little bit. And yes, they're going to have one of their crazy shooting games. And yes, I'm even factoring in a Celtics absolute friggin' meltdown you know, blowing an 11 point lead with, with, you know, with, there'll be one with 27 seconds left. And like, we'll, we will absolutely tear each other <laughs> apart. Uh, and that's going to happen, but I still have the Celtics. I have the Celtics in seven because they're going to shoot themselves in the foot and give away two games. Mm-hmm. I think if they played wow. it clean, they would win it. They would win it in fewer games. So it's going to go chip. seven because they're going to, they're going to Miami this thing. They're going to blow a couple that they yeah. should win. And it's going to go seven, and they are going to win it out there, and it's going to be a party out in San Fran, and and uh, and we're going to have fun. So last that's time where they I'm won going. it in seven, I'm, I'm Bobby was the there, chat. and there was a shooting, wasn't there in Milwaukee? Huh? John, I'm seeing in like the chat that wackadoo. what you what you did is called turning face. That's turning face. Doing. Thank ah. you. That's the term I'm looking for. You turning face. You guys are like, oh, John, you're going to be. No, I'm trying to tell you, I'm the good guy now. Because I'm you the said, good I, guy. Wish I, I wish I could, I wish I was. And then you. Then no, you actually... I said. And I, hope, I want to make this clear. I hope I'm wrong. But no, Nick, sorry. We're, we're, we're on the ship right now. We're still sailing the seas. I'll be the villain. Yeah, you're, you're, you're on a lifeboat somewhere begging for us to pull you back up. Begging. For, you'll I'll be, wait till they, they are going to win game one. For a, game one is set up for the, Game one is set up for the Dear diary. Win. I don't want you to think I'm a doomer boomer, Dave. Man, I'm always in the plus here. What's funny over. is as soon as we end this show, I'm going to text you guys my real pick, which is Warriors and Five. Me too, me too. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I'm just kidding. I, no, I, I am no. going with the Celtics. I am going with the Celtics. It's real. We're all on record here. We need to get Joe Sway's. Sure we gotta do Joe Sway phone. Nick name Nick's new nickname is the Doomer Boomer. That's All it. Doomer takes. Doomer Boomer takes. <laughs> Listen, the there's Doomer nothing Doomer. wrong. <laughs> it's the NBA finals. The Doomer Everyone. Boomer. And people are gonna call us homers and stupid stuff. There are a lot of reasons to actually believe that the Celtics are gonna win this series. Sure like if for, for those, I, I hate. Brew, I like it. But if you think the Celtics are just gonna roll over. <laughs>